My name is Rick Belair. I'm with the Rhode Island Music Hall of Fame, and we are very pleased to be here documenting the 50th anniversary of this incredible band, one of the greatest bands of Rhode Island music history. We, we appreciate your support for uh, Operation Stand Out Rhode Island. They have donation boxes over there, and the table gets some t-shirts. It's a wonderful organization doing very important and wonderful work. So be sure to uh, see those folks before you leave. I want to make sure that I mention everyone's name. The others went through a few lineups, and there's one of the uh, latter-day others here tonight, Joe Parisi. Stand up, Joe. There's a couple of guys that couldn't be here tonight. Bob Johnson, who had uh, replaced John on the bass. Uh, Mike Brand is in California. He couldn't make it. And then Pete Shepley, the great Pete Shepley, uh, passed away. We just found that out recently. So uh, think about Pete while you're listening to these guys, because he, uh, he was a pretty special guy. And I'd like to introduce these people one at a time. From one of the final lineups, this guy went out to form Blues Outlet. Everybody knows his name. It's Bob Angel on the guitar, the harmonica, percussion, and everything else. Standing in for Pete Shepley was a close friend and collaborator of Pete's. They had a band called The Band Goals after the others. They also made a couple of records. It's the great Bill Gannon. <laughs> On the bass guitar, one of the band's composers and singers, John Costa. <laughs> On the drums, playing those beautiful drums with that beautiful drum head, Mike Patalano. <laughs> and right here in the front, a personal hero of mine, one of the great singer-songwriters come out of the state of Rhode Island, Jim Dostow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome the others. <laughs> 